Hello and welcome to day 19 of the NA10 series. I know all of you are curiously waiting to see how we can do WhatsApp based automation. In yesterday's video, we saw how do we get the four parameters that we needed that is client ID, client secret, access token, and phone number ID. In today's video, let's see how do we use these four parameters to use WhatsApp as trigger and also action. So let's get started. So let's see how do we use the four parameters that we have got from Facebook or Meta, whatever you may want to call it as, into our WhatsApp automation from NATL. So let's search for WhatsApp. And we have WhatsApp Business Cloud. So use that and we have on messages, right? So once you have that, uh, you can select the account that uh, you want to use. Let me show you how do we create a new credential. So click on this. It asks you for client ID and client secret. And that's where we are using the first two parameters, which is client ID and the client secret. So click on save and your credentials are saved successfully. Uh, we could also change the name here like ABCD thousand days, right? So once you're done, just close this. Oh, keep editing and I'll have to click on save. Um, once that is done, you can uh, click on execute step. So it's actually listening. Now what I have to do is I have to go to the test number. This was the test number that I'd got. As you can see, when I sent the message, uh, I sent it twice and I've caught it twice. I'll just click on hello, how are Right, so I sent a message and let's quickly go ahead and check if we have received it. So we have received it. The phone number that we have received it from is this one, which is the test number that we have used. Uh, the phone number ID is this one. And the message is here. Hello, how are you? Right. So this is how you trigger right now. You can use this trigger to uh, connect with OpenAI or something like that and respond back. OK, let's try that. So for that, I'm going to use, let's say. OpenAI. And uh, message model. OK, so uh, we can ask like, OK, model, we can choose GPT files. We don't have GPT-5 yet, or we have. So let's go with GPT-5 and let's say answer the user based on their question. Okay, and the question comes here. Okay, and uh, let's just execute the step. And there you go. Hi there, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How are you today? What can I help you with? Okay, so that's this model. And now let's see how do we respond back to that. So let's search for WhatsApp, Business Cloud, and send message. So again, uh, we have to connect. Okay, I've, we have tried it multiple times. So create new uh, credential. And again, this could be 1000 ABZ 1000 days. So we need access token and the business account number. So access token is this one. And we need the business account number, not the phone number ID. Sorry for that. So we have to copy this and we use it over here. Okay, click on save and you have connected the message sending option as well. So send a phone number ID. Okay, test number, we have only one number. Recipient phone number, this could be coming from step one. So you can go over here. This is the number, use that. And message type is text or audio or contacts and so on and so forth. Let's go with text for now. Text body will be coming from this one, content. So just copy, paste here and click on execute step. And let me show you that I've got a response that is over here. You can see, hi there, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, how are you today? So let me ask, which is the capital of A? Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> for this to work, we have to enable this and I'll click on save. Uh, you can see workflow was changed by someone else. No, not really. Nobody is using the all right and save. Let's say, got it. 
okay and uh, so this is all set now let me ask the same question which is the capital of india very soon we should get a response and there you go it says new delhi and that's right so this is how you can create a whatsapp based chatbot of course this is with the uh, open model which means it is not trained on a specific set of data which belongs to us but this is uh, just open training by open ai uh, you could use any model like uh, croc or gemini or claude or anything this is how you set up the whatsapp trigger and this is how you send the normal message in tomorrow's video we are going to see how do we create whatsapp templates and then how do we send those templates using na10 and with that we have seen how to use whatsapp as trigger and action but that's not all we can send template based messages and we can do a lot more things with whatsapp and that's exactly what we are going to cover in the next three days. So if you found this useful, please share it with others. Invite many other people to our community. Let's learn and grow together. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.